Hi everyone, so this is chapter one, Introduction to Accounting, the first chapter that we will cover for your IGCSE accounting syllabus. This chapter is very short. It's basically introducing you to what accounting is, what bookkeeping is, and I expect you to please, uh, please, please first read the first chapter of the textbook, the one I've sent you last week in our google classroom you read the chapter first before watching this video okay so if you've read the 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 whole chapter from the textbook then you're able to answer this somehow test yourself 1.1 you define what bookkeeping is what accounting is two reasons why it's necessary to prepare financial statements and the fourth one, what are the items included or what is uh, included in the term financial statements. Okay, so basically what accounting is, it's a very big word. A very big word that means a lot, but really very easy to understand. So accounting is defined as the language of business. Uh, businesses all over the world they talk to each other using numbers. Like for example, I have a business in uh, Asia and my friend has a business in Middle East. So we can compare our businesses using perhaps profit or numbers, for example. Like, okay, I'm earning $1 million. How about you? What are you earning? So I'm earning, my friend will say I'm earning 500000 Dollars. So numbers is basically the language of business. It tells us what is happening in the business. Is it earning or not? So what we are doing in this subject is basically to provide this information to the owners and to the businesses. Okay. So accounting, again, is the language of business. And then it is divided into two sections. The first section is called bookkeeping, which means the detailed recording of all financial transactions and the use of double entry bookkeeping. Now, if you will look at this word, there are two words here that are very familiar to you. The word book and the other word is keep. So accounting is based one of the sections of accounting is to keep books or to keep records of all transactions happening in the business. So for example, um, you might ask your parents, you know, like you ask them, how much did we spend today? So for sure your mom keeps track of, let's say, the grocery, uh, the groceries that was made during the month. Perhaps first grocery was made last week amounting to 500 rial. The next week, another 600 real. So if your mom is able to take note of this, this is a simple bookkeeping. You keep track of what is happening, you know, what is the total grocery uh, spending of the family. So this is on a personal uh, example. In businesses, we do the same. So we keep track. We record all transactions happening in the business that is called bookkeeping now after we do all this recording so let's say in a business sense we might say oh i have a business in villaggio so i have to pay rent yeah if i if i have a space there in villaggio if i own a restaurant there naturally i have to pay villaggio a rent every single month so that is something that i have to record Okay, and why do I have to record? I have to record to make sure that, you know, all the cost, all the money that is going out of the business is worth it. So it means I have to sell, I have to sell products, sell very well so that I can pay for this type of expenses. So we will do all of this in accounting class. Okay. That's just an overview for you. So remember your mom taking note of 
the grocery amount or the grocery purchases, the things that your mom buys at the grocery, the spending, and this is somehow like bookkeeping. So you keep track. Okay, so accounting, what is accounting on the other hand? We use these records to, to record or sorry, to prepare financial statements at regular intervals. So after you've done all the recording, we are now going to do the proper accounting. We will use this data and we will use these books, the one that we've recorded, to prepare financial statements. This financial statements, we will learn it throughout the course. Financial statements are like summary. You know, we summarize all the costs that we've done, all the things we've bought, all the things we've spent, everything. Everything that the business um, has done or all the transactions of the business will be put into one summary. When we say regular interval, it just means the, the timing. So let's say one year. What is one year? From January to December. 12 months that is an example of a regular interval so for example one business will start recording from january to december that's 12 months however some businesses might open let's say let's say for the school school is also a business so if the school starts september naturally it will also start recording every september so therefore um, the 12 months will start from September. So you just simply count September, October, November, December. It's four months. And then you keep on going. So basically, you will get 12 months by next year, okay, counting 12 months. So let's say if you start September 2020, then you will end August of 2021. Okay, as for now, you don't have to like, uh, exhaust your brain so much thinking about regular interval just think of it now as 12 months okay or january to december so businesses keep track of what is happening on a regular interval or we can say on a yearly basis on a monthly basis but basically it means the time okay now for your activity task you can do this later. You think of a business that you want in the future, and then you answer the following questions. Okay? You'll do that later. Now, we have three big words again here after accounting and bookkeeping. These are the two new words. Now, we add to your list three new words, and these are your assets, which is defined as anything owned by the business or owing to the business liabilities is defined as anything owed by the business to other people and capital are the total resources provided by the owner to the business and represents what the business owes the owner okay so that's clear three of them so what are examples of this assets if a business owns a car then that car is an asset if we go to a on a personal example what you own let's say you have your you own your phone you have money in your pocket a hundred real those are your assets all right liabilities let's say you borrowed money from your sister so that is a liability let's say you borrowed from her 100 real so that is your liability to your sister okay in a business example assets for example is let's say you own the business owns a building so that is an asset the business has 100 million uh, reals in cash in the bank so that is an asset but the business also owed the bank or borrowed money from the bank, got a loan from the bank amounting to, let's say, 20,000 real. So that is a liability. 
Now, what is this last one called? It's called capital. Capital is defined as the total resources provided by the owner of the business and represents what the business owes the owner. Uh, in a very simple explanation, capital simply means when the owner, let's say I, I, I am new to a business, I want to start my own uh, coffee shop. How do I start this coffee shop? What do I do? What do I need? So first of all, I need money to start this business. So if I will open a Miss Marie coffee shop, then I will have to place money into that business to start the business, to buy what the business needs. So if I put, if I got, let's say, 100,000 riyal from my savings, my personal savings, since the day, let's say, from high school until now, I've saved, let's say, one real a day. And until now, I have around 100,000 real of savings since I was young. Now, I'm planning to put this into a business. I want to start my business. So this money that I am using to start my business is called capital. Okay, so that is the total resources provided by the owner to the business. So again, three new words, assets, anything owned by the business, liabilities, anything owed by the business, and capital total resources provided for by the business. So our next slide will be accounting equation. I will explain this in the next video. So I will cut this video now so that the video won't be very long. But this is the next video that we will do. We will now study what accounting equation is. Thank you.